Hello everyone, Ludex here. Welcome to episode number 22 of my season 2 Let's Play. Uh, some time have passed since my previous episode. I've actually added another extra dimensional um, upgrade to my dirt barrel as well. As you can see the cobblestone one is already holding 226 stacks of 64 plus 27. And the dirt one is also holding. That's basically <coughs> would have taken 3.5 barrels and that's 2.5 barrels. So you can see how these upgrades are very very useful and because since I haven't found too many diamonds and I'm still low on gold I think I'm still at the point where because I really would rather not go on a mining expedition I'm still going to wait until this uh, single quarry is gonna hit the diamond level and until then I'm going to continue research to hopefully get to a point where I can find um, the smarter version of the farmer so it can plant stuff as well and then create a dedicated farm much larger than this also I noticed something that if you right if I right click the collector one he says that sorry master I'm just a simple wood golem and I'm much too dumb for anything complicated so I guess you can also implement those intelligent or perception or whatever spe special thumbcraft uh, sigil upgrades to the wooden one as well so I'm going to try to create, uh, let's see, for the sigils themselves, for the simple one, I need uh, Night Ore. Actually, I need Imperito and Motus, mostly, to create it. So I guess researching that will be the smarter thing to begin with. I have a feeling that, okay. Stone Golem Worker. <laughs> Okay, so I had a good hunch. Probably, well, stone golem, so we're gonna need stone. And probably also soul sand. It usually requires soul sand. Nope, okay, maybe stone then. Okay, let's see if stone is the last thing I need. Uh, nope, one other thing. Uh, Permutatio. Seeds should have some here no I get some seeds okay so seeds and let's see what this new golem does stone golem worker so there is only one other type stone golems are sturdy but also much more versatile than their wooden counterparts they empty the contents of an inventory they are assigned to and move it to another inventory marked with the proper block see the next page it is also possible to specify which item they should remove from their inventory meaning they will ignore anything else like wooden golems stone golems are intelligent enough to move and place items into the side of an inventory they were assigned to marker blocks wood and any type of wool are rather simple are used by stone golem to determine where they should take the items they are carrying Marker blocks need to be placed adjacent to the in to another inventory and if a stone golem is nearby it will take any items from its chest and place them in the marked containers. The golem will take any of the marked containers by default but it can also be assigned to a specific color of marker block meaning it will only take items from the side marker block is placed adjacent to the inventory is important as golems will only place the... It's basically a replacement for pipes or tubes. You can use them in a complicated sorting system, uh, but I don't really see the use for them right now for me. Maybe at some other point. Oh, mm. oh, I don't know. Maybe eventually I'll get to a point where they're useful. At the moment I don't really see a use for them. I like rubber, it's so useful. Okay, and what am I researching? Clay golem. Probably gonna need clay. Clay has water and something else. The problem is that I cook clay. Or do I? I think I cook clay. Let's try using just bricks. Fire and earth. Let's get some something with, with water because I think... Yeah, clay has water and earth, 
So let's not waste it. Let's just get a stack of dirt. And well, let's get some reeds. Okay, so dirt and reeds. Probably none of them. Probably just the dirt. Yeah. Okay, so clay golem. Let's see what he does. Clay golems are further refinement of the stone golem research. Unlike stone golems, clay golems will try and keep items you specify in the inventory to sign to. Okay, this is useful. It can be commanded to keep the exact number you specify or as many as it can fit in the container. It will fetch these items from other inventories within the range that has been marked with a marker block. Like stone golems, they can draw from all marker blocks or just color specified. Clay golems are intelligent enough to move and place items into the side of inventory they are assigned to. Now, this one is useful. This is basically... Um, like uh, logistics pipes, like the old logistics pipes at least, if there are going to be new ones, I'm not sure how they will work, but this one could basically work like a supply logistic pipe, which is something I don't have a replacement for at this current mod pack, until now. So this is useful. To be honest, because of the lack of logistics pipes in this mod pack, I haven't figured out any type of uh, contraption or machine or system that will actually require them. Because I simply stopped thinking with logistics pipes because they're not available. But now, I may find a use for them. Maybe with, with forestry farms, that they will be nice. Could actually... Oh, well, no, I couldn't. I think maybe using them with the magmatic, magmatic engines, like keep a lava bucket inside, but the problem is that I also need to take the empty buckets out that will require another golem like one of them taking in one of them taking out instead of these filters and timers uh, I don't know but actually maybe I can use them to keep my crucibles filled up uh, never mind for now I'm gonna handle without them Let's see, I want to get uh, something else. Tello Golem Worker. What? Probably permitted here as well. Yep. And two other things. Having mastered the art of making golems fetch and carry for you, you have the next step would be make help with another thing around the lab. Okay. I'm still... My laboratory is very... Not special yet. It's very simple. Okay, maybe they need the, the food one? No. Okay, probably they're gonna acquire something with uh, magic percantio. I have a feeling. Or not. Uh, maybe not the parts. They usually are useful. Nope. Okay, I've encountered something I have no clue how to do. Okay, so let me fetch uh, the usual bunch of things that are usually useful. Okay, so I got a bunch of things. Let's see if they can help me. Maybe glass. No, maybe coal. No, nicolite. No, I think that also rules out redstone. Yep, iron. Nope. Obsidian. Nope. Fand iron. Nope. Sapphire. No. Nope. Okay. Tello Golem Worker. What's Tello? Does Tello. Is that an item of some sort? Oh, there is the special wax. Magic Tello. How do I create it? Remember figuring it out quite early and not sure not sure what to do with it. Corpus. Okay, maybe I need rotten flesh. Yep. And fabrico. Okay, so I'm gonna need some. Uh, I think I have some crafting spare crafting benches still somewhere if I haven't used them. Um, let's see. Yeah, I have three. Let's get some more wood in case that's not enough. 
hopefully. Let's see what this one does. This is actually, maybe he's, this type of golem is actually designated to do things like refilling your, uh, your crucibles or something. I don't know, just throwing out guesses. Oh, come on. Actually, I've just run out of wood. I'm slightly sidetracking here, but it's going to be a fast one. I haven't used a sawmill. A sawmill supposedly is basically a way to in increase your wood generation. And it's something uh, I have only seen in thermal expansion, like most mods, industrial craft and thermal expansion, and even factorization has a method that I, I haven't explored yet. I have a method to increase your ore or ingot generation, but only thermal expansion, as far as I know, has also a way to increase your wood generation. So I'm gonna do just that, because why not? I'm gonna need a sawmill. So for a sawmill, I'm gonna need a machine frame, which is gold and iron, and also another coil. Yep, my gold reserves are dwindling. So is my redstone reserves. Wow, I'm really low on resources. I've got this crazy sorting system and it's worthless because I don't have anything. Okay, so gold. Why am I doing it like this? Let's use this. Oh wait, what? Okay, wasn't very friendly for a second. I'm gonna need a stick to create this. And I'm going to need this. And just some copper. This is copper, right? Yeah. I always get confused between copper and bronze and I don't know. What am I short on? Oh, one piece of... Okay, so I can spare one. Uh, it's unfamiliar with this, probably. Copper, what? Copper ingot, redstone reception coil. Oh, maybe these other planks are bad. Okay, let's try getting a different type. If I have any. Oh, hello there, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure what just opened my door, but apparently this golem can see through walls. This is actually good to know. Okay, I'm gonna just need to chop down a wood. One wood, be right back. Okay, so just stop, chop down a couple of logs. Should be, yep. Okay, sawmill. I will need another conduit. What I like about those conduits is that they actually store some energy within them. So, Right now, my, mag my magmatic engine isn't working, and when I place it down, it should actually slightly be filled up, or not. Oh, I actually, yeah, I used everything uh, while cooking some sand into glass, okay. So basically, it should work as you would expect it to. Let's turn off all the different outputs. don't want anything going anywhere. This is for manual use. Okay, so if I throw in one uh, log, it should turn into six planks instead of four. So you and you get this sawdust, which I'm not exactly sure what it's for, but you're basically increasing your output by 50% by spending uh, energy, which makes sense. The thing is that I have basically free energy because of my I'm harvesting the nether, so this is where I actually benefiting from this entire thing. But without it, it would have made quite sense, to be honest. You in, you invest your energy and get a larger output, just like any other processing unit with either macerator, pulverizer, or whatever. So it also works with this. I'm not sure what they can do with three logs. They say they can basically do any other recipe, but apparently they don't cross over to this recipe, to this sawmill. So yeah, I don't know what it's about. Okay, let's uh, sawmill stuff. So I got enough would I think for all the crafting benches that I wanted to create I'm gonna just pass the night and be right back okay so a couple more crafting benches just 16 of those and 
we should have our tallow golem worker. Let's see what this one does. Okay, oh nice, it's drawing this entire research tree. Brewing buddy! Tallow, golem or, tallow golems incorporate organic materials into their construction which grants them considerable flexibility and intelligence. Tallow golems are particularly well suited to work in a thumbic lab, partic particularly alchemical apparatuses. Not surprising since they themselves are partially born of alchemy. When assigned to assist with a crucible and given a bucket, they are capable of keeping it supplied with water. Yes. You only need to mark a suitable water source for them to fetch it from. The flexibility ensures that they are, will be able to mend similar alchemical and thumbic apparatuses and help with their operation. It is unusual for you to need more than one golem per task, as they are clever enough to perform the task on all linked apparatuses that require it. Okay, I want to create one of those. Let's see. I will need magic tallow, which I believe I actually haven't made. Okay, so I'm just gonna need to burn a lot of uh, rotten flesh, so finally use for this crap. Okay, and I need a bucket. I just got exactly three iron ingots on me. So let's, um, let's see, my wand of the adept and rotten flesh, let's just throw everything inside. Okay, so 44 tallow, and I guess it will be useful at some point, what, what else can you make with it? Okay, nothing according to any eye. So what do I need? Let's see. Yeah, okay, so I can make candles with it on uh with V's and stuff. So, and here I'm gonna need um a core. So a core is again brick and nitor. Okay, let's create a bunch of nitor. Coal and torches. Coal I have. That's right, it's fire and that lightning stuff, right? I'm not making a mistake. Yeah. Okay, so for every two coal, I need six torches. I can make, I can do nine right now. 54 torches. So that's uh, nine times two, right? Yeah, so I need 18. Let's see if I'm actually good at math or I'm just thinking I am. So 16 coal. And 50, 54 torches. Yep, okay, nine nitor, exactly. Let's refill the crucibles. Whoops. Um, again, so I got my nitor. Now I'm gonna need bricks. Bricks and a lot of rubber. Rubber, I should already have some. Yeah, I already have some rubber here. Just let get, let's get some bricks. We need a bunch of bricks. It's like apparently a good thing that I'm actually cooking and storing them because they're quite useful in Thumbcraft, with all those golems at least. And I'm starting to like those golems. There's, they're kind of the, the border between pipes and tubes and everything, but they don't, like, they're golems. They, they don't take space. They're an entity that's moving around, which is actually quite funny, in my opinion. Alright, so I'm going to need, let's make, you know what, let's make a bunch of cores. Let's make uh, four. So four cores. I'm going to need uh, 36 of each, so that's uh, 18 rubbers. Right. And one. Okay, needs to recharge. Let's use this one. Oh, oops, I forgot about it. You can't actually... Uh. Is there a way to store aspects somewhere, somehow, somewhere? Instead of doing this, this is slightly annoying. One, two, three, four. I'm both wasting materials and I'm throwing a lot of aspects into the air, which is bad. Like, really bad. And 
and this is also wasting my time. Okay, so one more. So four more. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay. So I got this. So one of those and the magic tallow and ghosts and food. So I need eight ghosts. So that's eight of those. And eight food, which is two steaks. Of course, I need water here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two. Hello, Golem Worker. Okay, so if I right click here and. Oh, I need to make a marker as well. I give him a bucket, and he's holding the bucket. <laughs> I don't know why I find that this entire golems extremely funny. I have no clue why. How do I make markers? Okay, so I need just jungle wood and some piece of wool. Oh, basically any wood and some piece of wool. Relatively easy. Should also turn this off actually. Was was thinking about it. Okay, so I'm gonna use just white wool. Don't really care at the moment. You could probably, I assume you could use all different type of colors for all the different type of markers and then you have a large variety and cre can create crazy complicated things, but I don't need it. Alright, so here's the marker. And if you give me a bucket master, I shall keep the crucible filled with water. Oh, there's no adjacent water to this uh, marker. Need to place it like this. There we go. Oh, so also he's also always ready with the with the bucket of water. Oh, I like it so much. This is brilliant. Th this is exactly what I needed. Okay, let's see. I want the core upgrades. I want the smarter cores. Come on, give me something. Where is my rubber? I like how rubber is the start of everything. And see, it's fairly simple. Okay, so I got a new core, the speed core. Not bad. I wanted the intelligence core for my farmer one. But let's see what this one does. Maybe it's also handy. You have cracked the method of required to supercharge a golem core with motive force. Any golem created with this core will move and work much faster than others of its kind. Ah, well, it's nice, but... By the way, what's... How many... How much vis do I need to create? Ah, 20, so no problem. I, I thought I may need the super wand to to use it. That one can hold 1,000 uh, vis. And, like, creating those cores would require me to use, like, 300 vis or something. Something that this one can't hold, my current uh, one that adept. Okay, so I'm gonna need something else. Okay, so rubber is not useful anymore. Portable hole. Ooh, I actually, I think I've never used those. But I remember them being quite fun, if I recall, recall correctly. Let's see. And there we go. Thumbcraft doesn't recognize fear wood. Yeah, the forest roots apparently have some issues. So, yeah. Okay, let's try using something with magic. The portable hole is magical. Or not. What does it say? Uh, gibberish. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I have a feeling that it might require visum, but I'm gonna need some carrots for it. Bear back. Okay, so I got some other stuff as well. Also went to kill some chicken to see if it might require volito or aura. Apparently not. Or maybe whatever this can offer me. Nope. Okay, so let's try. Uh, I actually went for something and I for oh carrots right. Nope, no carrots as well. Maybe, maybe obsidian? Because of this? Probably not. 
Maybe dirt? No. Maybe cobblestone? Because it goes through walls. No. Marble brick has no use. I uh, should try some flint. No. Nether warts? No. This is a tough one. Uh, maybe light? No. Uh, maybe this? No. Okay, this is certainly not an easy one. I've already exhausted magic. Maybe this? Uh, probably not. Glass, maybe? No. Portable hoe. If I recall correctly, that's the item that you use on the wall and it will create a wall. Like, not a wall, but a passage you can walk through the wall. So it's actually a very useful one. But what do we need to create it? Because rubber is definitely not it. Let's try all those wood types. Yep. I think I've exhausted uh, Precantio as well. What's this? Yeah. Uh, what air shards have? No. Earth shards. I think I've exhausted all of them as well. Yep. Hmm. Okay, quick thought. Haven't tried paper itself for Coconito. Nope. Oh, I guess I'm, I need ender pearls for this one. Yep. Probably going to ender pearls. That portal thingy. Uh, well, I've seen some comments about uh, my question to you guys. If you guys think it's uh, okay for me to use uh, transmutation, equivalent exchange transmutation, and most of you guys said no. And I can understand why, and I'm going to respect that, and not going to use uh, quant exchange transmutation. Maybe except for extremely silly stuff, like turning a red rose into a yellow rose. I think that's legitimate. Or maybe some other, th maybe some other minor things, but no upgrading, like no taking cobblestone into diamonds, and direct transmuting, and no iron into ender pearls. Because, because I can relate, I can understand why it's slightly too much. The sad thing is that that's what I need right now. And also the thing with... Uh, can slide, can very quickly prove it to you. I may not manage to, but if you actually take a research out and start something else to research, uh, you may completely think that you can't make that one again because uh, you are already researching it, so what's the point? The thing is... Uh, you may end up getting the same thing again. Like, oh, we're enough seeds. Ooh, right in the middle of my example. So I got more seeds, and look, researching them, and finding out this is again a portable hole. And trust me, I haven't recorded what am I doing for five times. This is the first time I'm showing it, and the first time that I'm see that you guys see it, because this is the result. Now, of course. If I'm going to start my research from some, something else other than Motus or Permutatio, yes, I may get something else. And this is what I'm going to do. But there you go. Here's an example that's, that you can't, once you start a research, you can't, like, forget about it and leave it aside. You, you can do it, technically, but it won't work as much as you want it to. So let's try starting from something else. I think I may actually not be able to start from something else. Or would I? No, okay, there's something else. Yep. Golem animation core strength. Okay, so I'm gonna need probably rubber for this one. And again, Permutatio. So you see, I have to start from something else because if I start from Permutatio or Imperito, Peri Imperito, I get that same research again. So it's kind of a small loophole. I don't know if it's intended or not, but it's slightly annoying. Okay, so strong golems. Golems created with this core are able to carry twice as much as they normally would, or inflict greater damage. Sure, why not? I guess for intelligence, they will need probably Cognito. So let's try starting a research with this instead. Oh, I got water. Not Cognito. Okay, so let's see what can get out of water. Does it say anything? Nope, unknown. 
Does it need rubber? Yep, it refuses to get researched though. Boots of the Traveler. Hmm. That's interesting. Yep, I need something with air. Oh, I'm really short on, short on air shards. Do I need anything else? Maybe carrots? No, doesn't make much sense. Probably armor, I would guess. Do you have any really exhausted armor? Okay, so about to conclude the episode very soon. I just want to finish this research first. So I got myself a bunch of iron ingots because I'm pretty sure it's going to require some type of armor because it says it's boots. Something you wear. Yeah. Okay, so I got the armor. Probably going to need more than a couple. Yep. Even something additional to this. Yeah. This one armor really doesn't cut it. One pair of boots every time. Just want um, since I'm not yeah okay so I got enough. Uh, feather. Yep. It's probably gonna grant me flight and this thing apparently. Sure, why not? Uh, what else has this value apart from feathers and air shards? Hmm. Oh, how come I've even thought about arrows? They're pretty good source of this, and also since I always keep killing skeletons and just keep stacking those, don't really have much use of them. So why not? Okay, let's see. Hopefully those 20 will be enough. Yep, okay. Boots of the Traveler. They should let me fly, I think. Okay, so I need some... Whoa. These pair of enchanted boots have been stuffed full of magic to ease the journey of any traveler. They allow you to move faster than normal and take even tall steps in your stride. They allow you to jump higher and fall further. Lastly, they allow you to cut through water like a fish. A relatively slow and clumsy fish, but a fish nonetheless. Well, they're nice, but since I already have my longful boots and my electric jetpack, I... yeah. Well, that will be, I think, for this episode. I'm still waiting for diamonds, or gold, for that matter. And I'm still digging quite high. I actually think I'm gonna... Unlike most episodes where I play just a little bit between episodes and do some boring stuff, I'm actually, I think, I may let this quarry run for a while off camera. So I can actually start progressing because uh, this is actually holding me back and I really rather not go on mining. I would actually go on mining uh, at the same time while this quarry is running. This probably would be the most efficient thing to do. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.